Hello guys, this is Glockman4519. I am back uh, with another video. Uh, this video here is not uh, about a ROM uh, as much as this video is about a layer steam. Uh, you guys know I don't make no bones about uh, me being a strong CMTE uh, fan. Um, and I have uh, put layers down in the past, uh, but that was uh, quite a while ago. I think that layers has come a long way. Uh, there are very, very uh, good layers out there, uh, layer steams out there, uh, some very good developers out there making some awesome stuff with layers. One of the things I don't like about layers is the fact that you have to reboot your device in order to uh, apply it. Well, uh, there's a developer uh, by by the name of uh, Adit Aditya. I'm killing his name, I know I am. Um, uh, Gupta. <laughs> I'm going to show you his name, guys. I should just shut up now and just show you his name because uh, I know I'm killing it. So I'm going to go into my Layers Manager. I'm going to let you guys see. Uh, the theme is called Accent, uh, and it is spelled A-K-Z-E-N-T. Uh, it's a play on the word accent. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, and the developer, uh, I'm trying to see if you can see it. Um... Uh, I'd like to see. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's uh, Aditya, uh, Aditya Gupta. Okay, um, and I will let you guys see that now. When you guys install this theme, you do it just like you normally do your layers themes. Okay, so you guys watching this video, your layers lovers, you already know how to install it. Uh, you basically download it from the Play Store and open up your Layers Manager, and Bob's your uncle. It's in there. Okay. So you open up Layers Manager, you pick the theme, which would be this, and when you go to install it, um, if you are <laughs> like me, at least, you like to read what's there. And if you notice, the very first thing that comes up is it says, uh, you know, what's new, of course, and then it says that um, make sure that you have the dashboard installed to change colors and notification headers. Um, and this is a really cool thing to do. So if you click on that link, it is going to take you to the Play Store where you are going to download the dashboard layers or the layers dashboard. And that's what it's called. Um, now, as far as I know, it only works with this one theme. Uh, I don't know if they're going to uh, get it um, to work with any of the other uh, themes by uh, Aditya. Uh, hopefully it will and it won't be just confined to one theme, but at least for now, it is awesome. Because as you guys can see, uh, as far as it goes, changing colors on the fly without a reboot, it will definitely do that. Uh, I have the theme installed. I'm not going to install it again because that requires a reboot. And I want to try to make this video as short as possible. But you basically turn them all on. Uh, at least that's how I do it. <clears throat> um, it. You at least want your framework, system UI... Uh, status bar, settings, stuff like that. You definitely want that turned on. Now, all your Google Apps, you can do with it what you want, uh, but you need that framework. You need that system UI. That stuff needs to be themed. So you do that. You hit that little uh, paint roller icon down there. It applies your theme. Uh, you've got to reboot it, you know, just like normal, uh, and then you're good to go. The theme will be installed, and your theme will look like this, only your header is not going to look that, like that because I've been playing with it. <laughs> So, uh, it's going to basically be like a red and blue polygonal look uh, header to it. Now, speaking of polygonal, there is one little prerequisite to this, other than being rooted and of obviously and running a custom ROM that supports layers. Um, you have to make sure that you have uh, contextual headers built into the ROM, which Broken does. And uh, when you enable it, let me go down to status bar and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Status bar. Um, wherever you guys see contextual header at, usually wherever you enable it at, there's another setting underneath if they have that choice to enable polygonal uh, uh, headers, if you want to do that. Uh, you know me, if you've watched my videos in the past, I don't use polygonals. I don't like them. Uh, so I never enable them. Uh, but if you guys do and you want to you want to use this quick change header feature, you you have to have that disabled. Do not enable the polygonal feature. You need to have your contextual header on, but do not enable the polygonal feature. All right, enough said of that. 
But anyways, this is the theme, the way it is. Now, it when it's splashed, it's got a uh, a cayenne blue color, um, as, a, as opposed to the dark blue that I have right now. Um, and obviously, the header is not that. This is the accent header that I chose to... Uh, to try this is my second or third video uh, i don't like to edit videos guys but uh i'm doing this for a buddy uh you know i did uh aditya i've uh i've uh worked on uh or helped him develop uh, some of his um themes in the past by testing for him uh and testing for the neat uh team um so when they add you know I, I like to do him a favor and you know let you guys see what what's out there and this is this is what's out there guys and this is really cool and it's upcoming and it's new so we're going to get into the second part of this dashboard you need to download this from the play store and remember i said that link will take you right to it now when you first open this up it's going to ask you to put your name in so like i'm going to show you i'm going to completely close it out uh, let me get down here and clear my there we go now I'm going to open it up again, and it's going to actually greet me with my name. It's going to say something like, uh, hey, David, nice to see you back, David, or something. Yeah, welcome back, David. Now, what you want to look for is that supported, that number one. That means your ROM is supported, your device is supported. Then you want to see you are good to go. That means that you have uh, the accent theme installed. First thing we are going to do is change the color of the theme that we are running. Right now I'm running a dark blue. I'm going to change it. Let, let's just change it to red. It's there. So you click on that. You pick the color that you want. I'm going to pick red. You're going to pick this little, uh, this little eye drop. What's going to happen is you're going to get a system UI reboot. Like that. And now if we drop down, you notice the colors have all changed. We'll go into settings. There they are. So, you know, if your Play Store is themed, if any any other, you know, your calendar, whatever you picked on there, it's all going to be changed, all right? That's the way this works. It is just awesome, all right? So, uh, the next thing we're going to do is, now, this one here I don't mess with too much. Uh, I've actually learned how to use this one, and this is the only one I use. So, uh, I actually recommend this one here. And what this does is, it allows you to download, then install, and then actually apply to the theme a custom header uh, and say you don't have any and you have no idea what to do well if you look down here it says online header pack database let's click on that what that's going to do is that is going to open up a database of any kind of uh, header zip that is out there that that these guys know of uh, it's going to be right here so all you have to do is click on it like Tesla uh, we'll click on that. Uh, it's, I'm going to go ahead and download it. Uh, it is downloading now. It says the back button will now automatically take you back or something, whatever. I'm going to hit uh, dashboard. Now it's going to re, <clears throat> it's going to reboot uh, the um, the ROM or not the ROM. It's going to reboot the app. Start. It's going to restart it. Yep. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Now, underneath that, if you scroll up, it says, please select a pre-made zip. Now, that what that means is those are the zips either you made a zip on your own, if you're good enough to do that, or it's those zips that you downloaded, all right? Now, I am also going to pick, I want the auto clear system UI on uh, system UI cache, and I want it to also, uh, for I want the debugging mode for the advanced logs, just in case something goes wrong. And remember, guys, um, Theming is still, uh, you know, it, it's still in its uh, testing stages. It's, it's you if you're going to theme, make backups, okay? Because you can screw your phone up still by theming. It's very, very unlikely that you do, but uh, you know, you may have to wipe your data, or you may have to wipe something, uh, and you want to make sure that you back your phone up before applying any theme, even from the Play Store, okay? Um, okay, so we're gonna pick a theme. Right now, I'm running Accent. Uh, headers. Let's go to uh, um, let's go to broken. All right. So I I picked the broken zip. I've already got my auto clear system UI. Uh, I've got my de uh, debugging mode advanced log check. I'm going to hit this little check mark down here. It is going to go through. It is now installing that. Um, and I like these little pop ups. You've got to read them. They're funny. And what's going to happen is going to soft reboot the device 
all on its own when it is done uh, applying the header pack. And of course, stay broken. I'm going to do a video on uh, this ROM later today. It is an outstanding update. And now we should have a new header pack. Instead of it being Accent, it should be, and it is, Broken's header pack. See how easy that is, guys? Well, uh, that is pretty much it. I will change the color of it one more time to show you how quickly and easy that is to do. Uh, that is, that and the header packs are pretty much the main features I like uh, and that I use. Uh, you can actually go in uh, to here and you can uh, you can actually pick uh, whatever you want, uh, make your own uh, header pack, apply it, you know, by cropping it and all that. Uh, I would rather just use this feature here, which is the zip packs. Um, it's just so much nicer. They're more professional. Uh, that's how I would go. So we're just going to go back into colors one more time and apply a different color come on go back all right we'll go this way uh let's go with let me see it was uh what what colors did we have all right let's go with the green everybody likes green of course my oh well, now let's go with an orange because i this this doesn't pick green up very well we're gonna go with yellow <laughs> i changed my mind <laughs> too much way too much Hit that button, apply, it's going to do a system reboot, or not a system reboot, it's going to uh, UI, it's just going to, uh, um, yeah, <clears throat> see, pull down, and now everything is in yellow, settings, all right, one more header pack, and I'm going to go ahead and close the video down, go back into here, Go over to this option here. Um, we're going to scroll down to the zips I already have downloaded. Uh, this time, let's go with uh, let's go with Pac-Man. Can't go wrong with Pac-Man. And remember, I like to go advanced uh, options, which would be Auto Clear System UI Cache, and I want the debugging mode on. Never know. And then apply. Instead of doing a system UI reboot, it's going to do a soft reboot of the phone. Only takes a second. This is the only time that it reboots the phone, is applying the header pack. The colors are on the go. All it does there is just uh, restart your system UI. That's all it does, and it's that simple, guys. I am now running the Pac-Man header. All right, guys, that's it. This is uh, the theme called Accent um, and the app called uh, Layers Dashboard. Uh, you can get them both at the Play Store. Uh, the developer is outstanding. This is one of many, uh, you know, many themes that he has out. I think you should try them all. Uh, make sure you thank him. Uh, make sure you pick up the uh, paid version. Uh, that lets him know you appreciate it, that you like the uh, that you like the theme, and honestly, you get a lot more with the paid version. Um, and if you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, and I will see you all on the next one, and thank you to all of my subscribers.